Hello everybody. So not only do I review parts and accessories and guns and gear and do training videos and things like that, I also review companies. Now what do I mean by reviewing companies? Uh, if you guys remember my issue with the SB Tactical, it wasn't an issue with them, it was I had the uh, brace break and not only no questions asked, they were on it. I got it, I think this, the, the replacement the same week. Great customer service. Uh, if I find uh, outstanding, what I consider to be outstanding customer service, I want to make a video on it. I want to tell you about the awesome customer service that I had with a company. Companies like Streamlight, companies like uh, 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 SB Tactical, Companies like LA Police Gear. I mean, these are companies that I've had fantastic service with, and uh, you should know about that. But you should also know about companies that I have had bad service with. And this is why I can no longer support or recommend Botach Tactical. Now, I've been a big supporter of Botach for a long time. I have spent several hundred dollars with them, many hundreds of dollars with them. I've bought many articles of clothing from them. I have bought body armor from them. Uh, I've bought uh, many things from them. I reviewed a couple things from them, uh, and uh, they were always a, a company that I suggested people go check out for a deal or a sale or see if they have this in stock or that in stock, and I can no longer do that. I can no longer do that because of the service that I have now, uh, well, the service I've not gotten. Now, starting August, starting all the way back in October, Second, October 2nd, I ordered four ETS, 9mm ETS 22 round Glock mags. Uh, these are very cool mags. I love ETS mags. I run them all the time without problem, uh, even though the internet would have you believe otherwise. Uh, and they were in stock. October, I got the confirmation email, and uh, October 17th rolls around, I get the request from Botach to review my product. Well, I have not received my product. November 25th rolls around, this is almost two full months later. I get my order has been canceled because there is none in stock. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable because number one, as a company, it is your job to keep it is their job to keep track of their uh, stock, of the stock amount of stuff that they have, their inventory, and to keep, if they're gonna have a website, the website should reflect that. Uh, I'm able to do that with t-shirts. I'm, you know, many, many, many thousands of other companies are able to do that. Why Botach is not able to do that, I'm not sure. So not only is it unacceptable that they're trying to sell product that isn't in stock, but it is unacceptable that it takes two months to get the cancellation uh, notice. I had forgotten. It had been so long I had forgotten. I got I got the, the notice and I was like, I don't even remember ordering anything from them. And it was, sure enough, I looked back and it was four ETS mechs. So I went back through, I got on their website and sure enough, they're in stock. So I ordered three more. And that was on the 29th that I ordered three more. I get a cancellation notice today, being December 1st. November 29th, I ordered three more, in stock, order confirmation, and then December 1st, cancellation of order because it's not in stock. This is to completely unacceptable. There is no excuse for it. Again, thousands of other companies across the planet are able to control their inventory and especially keep their up website up to date. Why Botach can't, I don't know. And it's because of this, is not just because of this. I did have an order many months ago for some Dickies pants that were sized wrong. And uh, they had a sale on them, I think they were like $9 a piece. Um, and I ordered four or five pair. I wanted a pair for every day of the work week and they were all sized wrong. And uh, they were all far too small, far, far. They were like three sizes, four sizes smaller than what the tag said. Um, I got a hold of Botach and they said, send them back on my dime. 
that I was responsible for sending them back, even though it was not a good product. So I let that slide, and then this magazine thing happened, and I can no longer recommend Botach Tactical. I don't know that there's anything they can do to, to, to change my mind either. Uh, it, again, unacceptable to not have control of your inventory like that, and it's unacceptable to especially wait two months to tell somebody that uh, their order was canceled. So there you go. There's my review of Botach Tactical.